The idea that this this fair tax idea that we should shift from an income tax to a sales tax um, is one of the stupider ideas that has been put forward. Uh, it's nonsense. Uh, if the concern is that we tax people's savings and investment too much, which is true, we want savings and investment to flow into the United States. Various states want to do it as well. Um, we saw, you know, certainly when you cut the corporate income tax from highest in the world. We had the highest corporate income tax uh, under Obama in the world, 35 percent. France was at 25. China was at 25, and their competitive industries are at 15. Why do we have trouble competing with China? We were taking 35 percent of the earnings of American companies, and they were at 15 and 25. We were shooting ourselves in the foot. When that was brought down to 21, in 2019, the median income family of four saw an increase in their a person in, in their income of 6.8 percent, okay, uh, which is more than all eight years of Obama. The corporate income tax damages people's wages, and you saw it when we cut the corporate income tax and wages shot up. We then had the reaction to COVID, which was very unhelpful and shut everything down, but we still are doing okay in the world because we have a low, lower corporate income tax, 21 percent, People who want to take that up and make us and, and make us uncompetitive again are trying to damage the progress that we do have. Uh, and so we have a very serious challenge now in that the government's simply spending too much money. It's spending poorly. And the IRS is is part of that. And one of the things that I've tried to walk through is they don't protect your privacy. Um, they don't, uh, you know, they're legally required to do a study every year. Back, going back to 98, 98, I served on the Commission on Restructuring the IRS. So we looked at this, all of the things that are coming up now, the incompetence, the poorly run management, the, the, the billions that they've wasted on computer programs that have never worked. There's this very sad situation where you go every five and 10 years, there's, oh, we need more money, then we get the money, then it didn't work. And the New York Times and the Washington Post are going, once again, the whole thing collapsed. This is a very poorly run operation that needs to be reformed internally.